Well, hello, hello. I always do this. I point the mic slightly away from myself and have to readjust it. So I'm an idiot. Anyway, as I was saying, start off by calling myself an idiot. That's a great start to everything. Uh, I'm Ashen Ninja, and I'm clicking on other screens. And this is uh, Skrulk. And we've got to do this fight here. At, what's this place called again? Uh, uh, whatever it's called. I'm sure it's really impressive. It's got a lovely impressive name. Now, so... I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go, but... Got to win it, otherwise Tehana 1 is going to go rampaging through everything. Um, since I lost to him in the last episode in a mighty battle that was mostly one-sided uh working out where i'm going to set up is the next thing uh, itchy um i'm thinking here but it depends on how high these sort of entryways are so i kind of like the idea of being higher up so that i can place guns up here and shoot down at enemies once I'm through the walls so like not like that for example a bit more like this this isn't so bad what's the other side like oh, see I like that that's, that's, that's pretty good I don't mind that entry uh, yeah that one's pretty good Yeah, that's got a lot of blocking stuff there. So let's go for this one over here. Now, we are going to try and do it from over this side because we've got a tower here which will no doubt do a whole pile of damage to us. And there's a tower over there. And I don't know if they can fire at us or not. All my heroes in the middle here, they're going to charge up the center. These two are actually going to get off their... Uh, those things actually no maybe we should leave them on there yeah we'll leave them on there so they can charge up to the gate as well i guess well, we'll probably have the gate open for them ah oh, i can never make a decision let's just get off these stupid things do it this way all right so i do have towers there let's get all of this going in here. Now, I like exactly what is happening there with them. That is precisely what I was hoping they'd do. Got to get rid of those towers. That tower is nearly down already, which is good. Yeah, that is exactly how I want that going. That's nearly nearly done for. Gonna have to have a quick look at say it, that's down. Power down there. Let's look for their artillery. Yeah, some there. So we pop him down here. going well here. The door is not coming down very well. I would have thought they all would have been better than that at destroying the walls, but apparently not. Uh, meanwhile, while we're still working on the walls, use a bit of the old uh, magic here and there. Good. You guys can stop now. I will aim you at other things. Uh, get your assist here. 
How are they doing? They're actually not getting a lot of kills at the moment, so we might stop them as well. How are they looking? They're not doing... They're still doing alright, actually. Who is shooting at them? Oh, they are way back. Oh. Alright, let's get them running off. Here, you've got to... You need to flee. Flee, my friends. Flee. Because I completely screwed that up and forgot to put them at the front. Alright, so... Door is down. Let's bring rattling guns up. Uh, what do they have there? Quarrelers, are you in range? No. Bring all of our guys up. They can fire. You guys are going to be here kind of defending things. Miners will come in here, which is good. Hopefully they'll, they'll surround us nicely. If they surround us nicely, then we can, you know... Uh, drop some magic down on some stuff there. Now, rattling guns don't want you auto-firing either. Good amount of damage there. That was a very good run. That. Yep, doing okay there. Yeah, so we want the poison wind mortars up so that they can target things in there. Who is firing at them? I don't know who's firing at them, but let's get, try and get them out of the firing line. Oh, there's cannon fire happening. I see. We'll pull these guys over here a bit. And now you're all going to return fire at the cannons. You're going to not return fire at the cannons. Dwarf Warriors. Get everyone in there. That's good. They're on the run now. Now, there was. Right, so what we kind of need to do is actually take. Oh, there's the point. So we do need to take that point. Yes. Them across there. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Just go there. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Who's shooting at us? Oh, okay, there are cannons still there again. Who else is here that can actually shoot it's close enough to? Doesn't look like anyone really. So, okay, so I think they're actually too close to the walls now. To be out of fire. They've so probably actually been fired on by this tower here. That will be a good one to get rid of as well. And 
Once they're a little bit further out, we might uh, get them firing at that. That side, please. try and do is so these guys can fire through the gate here it's shattered that's good so we're gonna get them on auto fire Let's start moving these guys down and around. Anyway, you go for the Lord, because you're probably the most likely to be able to do damage to him. Yeah, that's perfect. I can smash him. Doing pretty well here. I'm taking a bit of damage from what I believe is that tower there. Chuck that down on him. Get a couple of these boys in. Who are we have moving there? Who is well? You can go on auto shot as well. You to get down there. Let's start getting some artillery fire on some of these other units. about that lord just go through as long as we have them there they can shoot down that line so while you hit drop that down on him Face the way I want you to, damn it. Just shoot, just shoot. Okay, just, just run away then. <laughs> Fucking hell. Ah. Cannot get them to do what I want them to. You just start shooting at them, please. Scroke. Uh. Grok, where are you? Yes, yes, yes. It's not good. We need to get rid of those thunderers. Apparently we can't shoot at them from up here though. Get into the side there. What? What orders? Fast and scurry. 
Let those rattling guns go. They're down here now. That's fine. Thunder is up there. We're going to need to bring our artillery inside, I think. That's good. Getting rid of them. Move them up a bit more. Got him on the run up here, so this is good. Skrulk doesn't have much left in him, though. So let's fire off a couple of fireballs if we can. Claycores need you in here. Aim with you two, I need you two in here as well. Get him down here. Now move! My orders! Plan advance! Rattling again! Yeah. yeah, since we don't want to actually put anyone into the teeth of that. It's just a bad idea overall. Poisoned wind mortar! I need plenty of more of our poison wind mortars to come in. Looks like we've taken care of quite a bulk of their army here, so we could be okay for a little while. Play three, see if you can drop that down there without having to go too far up. Higher. There you go. That's good. Good, good. Fire at those dwarf warriors coming as well. Maybe not actually. Let's wait till they come into your uh, sights. Then do what should be done. Stop him. He can fire. That's good. Ready, ready. He can't. Maybe he can fire. No, nah, he's too far away. Stop, stop. Hmm. Once we push these dwarf warriors out of the way, we'll be able to get our poison wind mortars over there to start bombarding this little thing. Oh, no. Doesn't look like we've got a worry. Looks like we've got our win. Beautiful. Now, taking a fair bit of damage. But that's okay because they're in a settlement, which means they're done. They're gone. Okay, I should have kept looking for them. <coughs> Man, it lost a few, especially out of the warp blockages ales there. But we did get some rattling guns in to assist. Yeah, most of it was done by the plague though. By the look of things. These guys generally just beating the crap out of dudes there. So that is good. Poison wind mortars used to be so much more effective. I think they've uh, they've uh, brought that down by a few levels um, since I've played last. This is a real bummer. I used to love them. Oh. All right, so we got that. Uh, let's yeah, let's sack it. Sack your attack. Sack steel. And we'll occupy it. Put it up to level 4. And because of who is on the borders here. Faction destroyed. Lovely. 
Okay, I'm gonna put in walls here. So, uh, don't know about that yet. What is this one? Iron. I mean, iron helps us play, but uh, that, that, and we want that. I'm actually gonna demolish that so I can put a different building in there. Uh, let's put that in. Now, he's going to have to go in a force march from there and do the bolt down to be able to uh, try and rescue the other cities. Try. Uh, let's see. We've got warp smart with him. Don't need the others. All right. So, point to spend. I don't really need that. I don't really need more uh, Plague Priests at the moment. Don't need them to cause terror. I don't really need that. Envoy of the Council. Aura of Pestilence. What does that actually do? Sounds cool. Aura of Pestilence. Melee attack minus five affects all enemies in range. That's good, but it's not quite something we need right now. I think more magic from him might be better. Or would it? Has it? So we're using the other guy for magic mostly at the moment. So no, I think Order of the Pestilence might be good. Yes, yes. Now that I think more about it. More speed for you. We've already given you a few trinkets and, and whatnot because you're uh, 20. These guys have only just made level 20. My bone breakers. Uh, yeah. so I think they both get some stuff from the armory. Uh, yeah, clever digital lodestone. Brass cleaver is very good for these guys to have. Uh, looks like the other guy's not getting anything. <laughs> Don't have that many. Uh, things to give you. out, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, Book of Assure is not for him. Oh, well, that's all right. He'll be fine. <laughs> all right. Uh, you. Got you, arms dealer, triangulation. Doom Rocket's good, but I think Ballistics Instructor is probably better. Uh, affects all units in range. The effective range is everywhere, so that's just 10% range for everyone. And that one. Clan for uh, you. Master. Yeah, so that's not actually very useful for us in this particular incarnation. Uh, root horrors would be good. Level that 14, isn't it? Yeah, so still got levels before that. So tired of death for that. Him. Oh, that's right. I gave him sneaky as well. Give him sneaky. Oops. Level them up the same. Same, same. Good, good. So that gives us mine of bearded skulls, which is what that was called. Turns out. Um, and we've got the other one of there, the thrice cursed peak, but might not be best to actually do anything there. We have a Henoan just here who has a fairly weakened army. So if he assaults we might be able to defend but yeah it's going to be difficult there. Look at that. We've still got 10,000 gold which is nice. 2,000 income which is also nice. So over this way, we'll spend a little bit over here on that. Uh, that's discoverability. That's the discoverability one I normally use, not that one. That one. Yeah, because it doesn't cost you anything. I don't care if I've got visibility over the region. There we go. That works better. 
So that is actually where I'm going to end this episode. So one long battle to take out uh, the minor bearded skulls. Uh, I'm tempted to, instead of running him down to rescue, is to actually take the Golden Colossus and fight my way back down. So that could actually be a better option. Um, we will see. I'm going to leave all this as is for the moment because I just don't know what's going to happen. I don't want to spend the money and then regret it. Uh, he's going to attrition a bit. That's all right. Oh, so that's where I'm going to leave this for now. Uh, hopefully it's been fairly enjoyable so far. And in the next episode, we're going to try and hit Golden Colossus with Lord Skrulk. So, till then, I've been Ash Ninja. This has been uh, Lord Skrulk, and I'll see you in the next one. Hope you have a good one. See you later.